TMS Web stands for Flexible Web Design. You have multiple options how to design your web pages. Most of these demos focus on the Delphi Form Designer. In the Form Designer, you change the design using properties of the components that you use. However, this might be pretty restrictive for a professional web designer. Thus, TMS Web allows full customization using CSS with other JavaScript frameworks. However, a common use case will be to integrate your TMS web applications in already existing web pages. We will call this the HTML-based layout approach because this is also possible very easily. Let's start with what you have seen in most of the other demos. You'll see the Delphi form designer and we have several controls spread on the form. An edit control, a list box, a button and a combo box. The key is, at this stage, you do not really care about the design, you just care about functionality. These controls behave very much the same way as they're used to from the VCL. You can add some text into the edit control, you click the button, and the text is being added into the list box, into the combo box, and the label. There's already a video explaining this demo. However, we will all agree that this is not really up to standard when it comes to web design these days. Thus, TMS Web offers integration of CSS and other JavaScript frameworks. The product comes with a demo called Bootstrap. This example shows how to integrate Bootstrap, which is another JavaScript framework, into your TMS web applications. As you can see, the application looks just the same in the form designer. However, there's a subtle difference to every control. If you click on a control in order to see its properties in the object inspector, you can see that the element class name is designed for every control. For example, the list box is called form control and the button uses the element class name button primary. So how does this work? If you look into the HTML file, you see that there's a reference to the bootstrap framework. If you run the app, you see that the styling is completely different. The edit control has round corners and also the list box has round corners. And the button has a completely different design from what we're used to. Furthermore, the label gets a frame, just like the edit control and the list box control. So this is just a short example how to style your controls using JavaScript frameworks, using the element class property. Finally, a very common case. There is already an HTML page and the web designer tells you where to put your controls. How this works is very similar to the CSS approach. However, you use the element ID of every control. For example, the element ID of the edit is EDT, the element ID of the button is button, and the element ID of the list box is mem. Running the application, we see that we use the different HTML file, and this HTML file refers to the element IDs of the controls. You can see that the whole design and the whole functionality with animations is taken from the HTML file with CSS. This is basically the web page from TMS software. And the TMS web application is fully integrated. And what about the functionality? Yes, exactly. It works like in the simple application that you modeled from the start. The functionality is not affected by the design, just as it should be. So you, as the application developer, can focus on your controls and the web designer can focus on the design. So where do you put the HTML content for your form? Well, that's really easy. Looking at the unit one pass file, you find an associated unit one HTML file. Double click it, and here you see the source code. And of course, you will also be able to find the element IDs that we defined. The references to your controls is being made using the ID property of the HTML control. Thus, the property name element ID. This demonstration hopefully has shown you how flexible web design can be with TMS Web. There are absolutely no limitations and you can still rely on the Delphi form editor. You don't have to use web design, you don't have to learn HTML, you don't have to learn CSS. Keep it in the hands of your professional web designer. Focus on application design, focus on your databases and your web applications will still look magnificent. Thank <laughs> you.